me, Christy, and I am here with a new release that came out about two or three weeks ago from Diamond Art Club. I have had it for about a week, and I'm just getting around to opening it, so I figured I would do it for you all to see. I don't think I have seen anybody open this particular painting on their channel yet. So, I wanted to give y'all a chance to see this image from Diamond Art Club. And I hope that everybody's doing okay today and have a nice weather. It has been so hot here where I am. I mean, it is just burning up. Our air conditioner is out here and it is miserable. And the little fans are just not cutting it. Y'all, please bear with the mess and everything. As I mentioned, I am in the process of going through a divorce and packing stuff up. So, I've got stuff laying around everywhere. So, just bear with me on that if y'all would. Okay, as y'all see, this is still in the um, old box that they did. I have been getting paintings in the new blue holographic. I really love that box. Which, this one is really pretty too. And I liked how when I very first started getting Diamond Art Club, how they had like the, kind of like snowflakes down here on the bottom. I thought that was so pretty. Now this is one company that I have to say that <laughs> the boxes are almost as nice as their paintings. Almost, not quite. But I think that really says a lot about the company, you know, and how they package, you know, their items and, you know, care about, you know, how it's going to arrive to their customers. So, I absolutely love Diamond Art Club. They are, above all, my favorite diamond painting company. And... I do use a few different ones, but they are my favorite, so. And I think a lot of people feel the same way. I remember when I very first ordered from them, I actually paid, like, overnight shipping costs because I just could not wait to uh, get, you know, to get a penny from Diamond Art Club. And... And they have started giving out this opaque paper, which I have not really, really used this a lot. I have gotten paintings that have came with it on it, and I am personally, yeah, I'm moving y'all around. I am personally a fan of plastic over opaque, but that's just me. And I am bad about taking the whole plastic off. When I get so far into it, which is not a good idea. And I don't recommend that for anybody because you're taking a chance of dirt, dust, got animals, fur, or anything getting on your painting. So, but I am bad about doing that. So, let's see. I think we all know what comes in a diamond art club kit. Okay. This is the sticker, and this is the image. It is called Nichols. I think that is so cute with the little... I can't tell what kind of dog. It looks like it's got maybe Pitbull in it. Laying in front of the fire truck. But he's just so cute. I remember back when, you know, all fire dogs seemed to be Dalmatians. I always thought Dalmatian was such a pretty dog. But Diamond Art Club has a really nice sticker sheet, which is color, and... You can use it to put on your containers if you kit it up. So that's really, really nice. And then they come with their toolkit. If you get a round painting, you get a a blue stylus and you get some baggies and you get two heart waxes and then a clear bow and a blue grippy and a multi placer. If you get a square kit, you get all of this, but you get tweezers with it as well. I am more of a fan of round um, 
I started out with round. I do do squares, but I, I rather do round. So let's look at this canvas. Oh my goodness, is that not just adorable? Look at this. Is that not just so cute? I love anything that has animals in it, but that's just adorable. A little doll baby laying there. This is a 56 by 71. And as I mentioned, it is round and it is just so, so pretty. I love that. In Diamond Art Club, their canvases are absolutely best quality, I think. Very sticky. And as anybody that's done, that's done Diamond Art Club knows that their symbols are very clear. You don't even have to use a lot pad with them. So we will turn this over and look at these diamonds. Sorry about the two things. I think I should have warned y'all ahead of time so y'all could have needed your phone. Okay, I'm going to start from this way and just going through. I just got two bags of 310. This is not bad. Blue. This is a brown. This painting's got a lot of browns in it. Blue. And another like orangey brown. And 141 is the AB. And I think it's only got one AB. Yeah, one AB. And it is 141. Is that not just gorgeous? Like an opal color? Pearl. So pretty. And you got another like tannish brown. Navy. And like a real dark brown, a nice blackish brown. A lot of these browns look the same to me. It's kind of like a reddish brown. Red. And like a navy blue. Timmy color. They all look. Uh oh, I got a hitchhiker right there. Blue. And that is 666, of course. Look how shiny. I love Diamond Art Club's diamonds. They are so shiny. Such great quality. Green. And then, the last one. We got two bags of the gray. And then another two bags of a little slightly darker gray. Three bags. And that is all the diamonds, and it did come with 32 colors and 1AB. I'm going to put these diamonds aside and we'll look at the canvas one more time. I really love the canvas, I think it's so cute. I'm so glad I got to get it here lately. I have not had no luck on getting any of the new releases. I've been so upset. Is that not just cute? This picture has a lot going on in it. It's got, as you see, the doggy laying there. And it's got the steps going up here. And the American flag. The fire truck. And it's just got a lot of stuff in this picture. And you got your lights up here. And I think that's where the, um, where will the AB be? It will be, the AB is right through here. It'll be right through there. 
that through there and then going down here through the fire truck that's going to be really pretty i think when it's done but that is nickels and i will list it down below and i just want to let y'all see but i hope y'all have a great night and thank you for stopping in and i will see you in my next video thank you goodbye